Hi, my name is Stefano Falco. In this movie, I'm going to show you how to create your first HTML5 web page. The only application you need for coding HTML and CSS is the free application Brackets. The software is available for both PC and Mac. In this movie, I'm running it on a Mac computer. Step 1. Downloading Brackets. Open your browser, like Safari, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Firefox, etc. Use your search engine to search for Adobe Brackets. Click the blue Download Brackets button. At the time of writing, the most recent Brackets release is version 1.9. Install brackets on your device. The installation process differs depending on your operating system, PC or Mac. Consult the manual of your operation system. Here you can witness installation on a Mac. Launch the application brackets. On Mac, ignore the warning. When you open brackets for the first time, you are thrown straight into an HTML-based tutorial file. This tutorial file is what you probably see now. But let's take a look at the interface. There are three main parts. The file manager or sidebar, on our left hand side, clicking once on a file opens the content in the middle pane. We spend the most time in the text editor area. We have a handy button on the right hand side. This button is called Live Preview. Be sure to start with an HTML file when you want to use Live Preview. Live Preview opens Chrome. If Chrome is not installed yet on your device, I suggest to do that. Before we continue, I'm a Dutch user, so my brackets interface is said Dutch. English speaking users go to debug switch language. Pick the language of your choice. Load brackets. Now all menu commands are set in English. Let's move on. Use the short key Command N to start a blank HTML document. Or choose File New. Because I am in split screen preview, I press this button. Choose No Split. Every HTML document should start by declaring that it is an HTML document. Doc type defines the document type. The code actually says, I speak HTML5, so the browser knows how to render the page. 
Type in the less than sign. Insert doc type. Hit the spacebar. HTML. Close the rule using the greater than sign. It's important to save your file if you want to use code completion. And I think that's a must. Choose File, Save. And save your file temporarily on your desktop. Notice our code colors. Enter twice after the doc type. I use the backspace to get rid of my indent. Type in the less than sign. Bracket shows a drop down menu from the moment you enter the less than sign. In HTML, the less than sign is used at the beginning of tags. Type the first letter of the tag that you need. In our example, we type in the letter H of HTML. Unfortunately, the HTML tag is not shown yet in the drop down list. By also typing in the second letter of the word, the T of HTML, the number of results is limited. Use the Enter key to validate, or click the blue post it looking box to choose the HTML tag. Type a space and then the letter L for language. Now we have to insert a value for the lang attribute. Type EN. EN stands for English. If this was a Dutch page, we would use NL. FR for French and so on. Close the rule using the greater than sign. Brackets automatically creates the HTML closing tag. This feature is called code completion. Let's put the closing HTML tag at the end. An HTML document has two main parts, the head and the body. The section between the opening head tag and the closing head tag is called the head section. It contains information relating to the document, but does not appear in the document window. The title element is embedded in the head section. This is the title of the page that can be seen in the title bar of the browser. Search engines use the title as the heading above the search results. Browsers use the title to bookmark the web page. The head section is also important for metadata and links to external CSS and other scripts, but more on this in later movies. How do we start the head section? Type in the less than sign. We type in the letter H. You can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to scroll down. Use the Enter key to choose Head. Close the rule using the greater than sign. Brackets automatically creates the Head closing tag. Code completion, remember? For visual reasons, I use indentation using the Tab key. Let's create our second main section body. You now know the drill. To make it easier for you, the viewer, I choose View, Increase Font Size. I can also use Command 
plus. Command minus decreases the font. In the sidebar, note the dot before the file name. This indicates unsaved changes in the document. Use the shortcut command S to save. Now the dot before the file name disappears. Place your cursor, enter. Now we insert the meta tag. Check the previous steps if you forgot how to do this. Notice the red color. Red color indicates an error. Char set specifies the used character set. Meta char set is a self closing tag. We choose the value UTF 8. The next step is the title tag. The title is visible in the browser. Notice the different colors. In brackets, tags are blue. Attributes are green. Values are orange. Content is black. Remember these colors. These colors make it easy to quickly detect possible errors. Congratulations, our star document is ready now. However, I wish to add comments to distinguish both important parts. Place your cursor after the closing head tag. Type in the less than sign, exclamation mark, hyphen, 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 hyphen. Close the rule using the greater than sign. The code color is gray. You can insert text between the dashes. This is called a comment. The user will not see these comments and the browser doesn't do anything with the comments. See comments as handy messages to yourself. I copy paste the comment. Let's rearrange our code by using the backspace key. I add some additional comment.
you can use this start document for every new HTML5 document. This is Stefano. If you liked this movie, subscribe to my channel. More movies are upcoming. Bye for now.